I took part in the Klondike Gold Rush in Alaska, and I experienced Alaska firsthand. Uh, food shortages at the time were massive, and I, I didn't have anything other than the clothes on my back. I experienced nature in its purest form, and I, I got to exercise my mind by conversing with my peers and talking politics with the people around me. When I went to Paris and experienced the centipede within me, I felt that the whole world was connected and that nature is within oneself. I really just needed to get out originally. Growing up in such a confined environment made me want to escape society for a little while. Being a member of the Transcendental Club gave me time to germinate my somewhat radical ideas. I was mainly molded as a transcendentalist through discussion and philosophy. For example, my discussions with Henry David Thoreau, while largely a teacher and student, was still very gainful for me, as I eventually came to consider him a good friend. When I was a teenager, I, I lived as a sailor. I bought my own boat with all of the money that I had left. It was broken down, and I found the values of individualism through hard work. During the gold rush, I gained some success financially, but the real success I gained was the experience. It, it molded my philosophy and my view of the world. The connection between humans and nature is, is, is a rugged relationship. Nature is unforgiving but rewarding. Nature reduces and simplifies a man down to his most primal form, like a, like a wolf. Um, those who go into nature and explore it um, come out changed and more self-reliant. People need to go out on their own into the wild in order to really find themselves. I told an old friend before, and I repeat myself now, that it's necessary to do new, crazy things to really be happy with yourself. You need to move around, be nomadic, and see the beauty of the new places that you are not used to. Human and nature are one thing. God encompasses everything, and therefore everything is divine. One connection with God comes from connection with the world, around themselves. And the food humans take in involves an intercourse with both heaven and earth. I've never written a book, but I plan to. Reading has given my life on the road much more educative aspects, and I've been very influenced by authors like Thoreau and London. I think reading is important for learning about new philosophies, and I figure out over time from books like Dr. Zivago that happiness is only real when shared. One should not become too wrapped up in reading what previous authors have written. It's important, but only as a leisure rather than a central element of academia. I have concerned myself with writing to share the new ideas that I have gained from my experiences in nature. God must speak through your pen. Writing was my real success. Writing was where I started being a successful individual. Um, and it started when I started sharing my ideas and selling my brain rather than my brawn. Uh, writing is all about sharing your interpretations of imagery. And storytelling is a bonus, but not necessary to the structure of a story. Government should be there to help one grow as an individual until they are self-reliant enough to join the democracy. Then the individual can overturn the government. Socialism is a philosophy that allows each individual to be responsible for themselves and their surroundings and would ultimately encourage more moral society and a society where nobody has to go hungry like I did in Alaska. I've never really shared my political views before, but what I do know is that the best government is the government that governs the least.